Happy Saturday, folks. Uh, doing a little bit of maintenance. Uh, just did a, a simple plant training. Uh, looks like I've got somebody who uh, likes the taste of the Madagascar lace plant. And uh, definitely someone's uh, chewing on it right there. You can see they're chewing on it. And that's fine. I don't know, I don't know who it is. They, they're only eating that one leaf for whatever reason. And they're letting these others grow out. Uh, one thing I wanted to show, uh, thanks for everybody helping me spell uh, or, or say uh, Ludwigia, <laughs> and I still don't know that I said it right, but uh, I need to practice that word. But I, I just wanted to show you guys, uh, this tank is over filtered, and by that I mean I've got an FX5 in a 120 gallon tank, and uh, that is the reason that I don't feel that this tank is overpopulated. Um, if you go to the pet stores, you'll see a whole lot higher density of fish um, in a smaller tank. And I, I've even seen higher density saltwater, um, clownfish, you name it. Uh, they've got a complete, uh, their filtration system's totally different. It's a commercial. It's high end. They're also doing UV, you know, all kinds of things like that. This isn't UV. This is just a canister. But the point is, and this is what I'm getting at, you could never do this. I, I couldn't have fish in here like this as healthy as this if I didn't have money in my filtration system. One thing I, I did today, just for kicks and giggles, after I trimmed uh, the water sprite, or, um, right here, I, I had all kinds of stuff that just kind of hung in there that was, I don't know, just debris. And I opened it up, and I like to open this thing up every now and then and just let it run uh, wide open. And you can see the kind of turbulence it's creating. See how it's pushing all the plants. And it really gets a lot of uh, current going, and I really feel like the fish like it. I don't, they don't like to sleep in that kind of current. I don't usually like to let it run uh, that high rate overnight. But, but I do like to let it um, go wide open during the day. And I'll probably, you know, trim it back. The uh, FX5 has the, uh, has the valves on it. What I usually do is I actually start uh, cutting back the outtake valve. If the valve on the right is, is going uh, into the tank, I start trimming it first and then start uh, trimming the inflow. Uh, that way I don't get any kind of vacuum or any kind of uh, air in there. And you can actually hear, uh, it, it'll actually sound a little different. Uh, but what you don't want to do really on a canister, what most people recommend against, is to have a... Uh, pressure build up in the canister and that that meaning you're you're putting water in there quicker than what you're letting it come out and I think the FX5 can totally take it but it's good to try to have uh, actually just try to figure out the angle on both of those valves and just trim them down until I just get it rippling a little bit at the top it's, it's just going wide open right there if you can really get an idea of how fast we're talking about it's it's pretty busy um, but the fish seem to like it, so, hey, you know, if they like it, I'm probably going to do it, so, uh, even if everybody gives me a negative on it, how about that, even if I get a bunch of, uh, dislikes, minus ones, you name it, the, uh, this tank just keeps doing well, uh, I fed this guy earlier today, and he just keeps getting faster and faster. And I'm hoping, yeah. I mean, he's just booking. This guy's got some serious, uh, serious swimming skills for such a small little guy. So, but uh, anyway, uh, still need to do some maintenance here. I'm probably gonna wait until the basketball game. So you know, if Kentucky loses tonight, I'll uh, I'll have plenty of time to work on this stuff tomorrow as I quit watching basketball for the rest of the year we'll see but hey i appreciate everybody watching just want to give you a heads up and uh also just you know why i like to over filtrate 
and, and I think it's always good when you're planning your tank uh, there's two things I think that it's good to go a little heavy on one is the heater um, if you get a heater that's higher rated for your tank it won't have to work as hard my opinion um, this heater here actually came with this tank with this kit uh, I got a true temp actually rated uh, for this kind of range tank uh, on the 120 but uh, I don't know just my thoughts but I really feel like you're going to enjoy the hobby a lot more your fish are going to be healthier um, I see people that you know they'll spend money on the tank and they don't want to spend any money on filtration and I, I just really I don't think you're going to have a lot of fun you're going to, you're going to end up buying a lot of fish and uh, you're going to end up feeding them to the toilet um, which is unfortunate so I, I would that's one thing I, I really picked up on when I was in Europe uh, especially in Germany uh, they, they spend a whole lot more money on their filtration systems and really do it right and I'll tell you if you really focus on your filtration and really go high end on it you will enjoy the hobby immensely everything will be better uh, just my opinion so anyway um, and you know once, once this tank this tank here is about ready to get it, it's not a year old it'll be a year old in June and you can go back and see, you know, one week after planting how small the plants were. And I really, I just moved a lot of the plants around. I don't really, I didn't really add anything. I added Bacopa at one point. Uh, and I did add some foreground plants. Uh, but everything else is pretty much the same when I ordered it. Uh, but the point is this, if you, if you go heavy on your filter, you, you know, you do a lot of work up front. But then after that first year, it's just pretty easy pretty straightforward so and just enjoy your fish and and uh, a lot of these fish are just bargain fish believe it or not this everybody asked me about this molly I got this molly at PetSmart for like a buck and she has turned into a well uh, some of the others didn't make it but she did and uh, she's really really pretty but uh, alright enough lecture enough about this but hey I appreciate everybody watching thanks for all the kind words and uh, I'm enjoying everybody else's videos as well so uh, there is no way I will stay married and put a greenhouse in my backyard so uh, not to mention my homeowners would just go freaking crazy if uh, I put that in my backyard I, I've got neighbors around me that would show up bulldozers but uh, but anyway uh, that's cool and uh, We'll just see where I'm going to take it. I don't know. I think I'm just going to enjoy it. Let these guys grow out. These guys, uh, these Siamese algae eaters, are getting so big. I'm, I'm thinking about taking a few out of here and moving them, you know, helping somebody out on them. I don't know. But, uh, but you guys be good. Thanks for watching. Appreciate all the great, great videos everybody's posting. You guys keep it up. And, uh, Everybody have a great Saturday, and go Cats. I, I just, when I went to Kentucky, uh, Patino was the coach there, and I, it's just the most surreal thing, but uh, some basketball team in Kentucky is going to win today, and I hope it's the one in blue. So we'll see, but you guys be good, and uh, go Blue Nation. Later.